this is gonna open up your sinuses <laughs> vicks vapor rub has nothing on this good y'all it's your girl asia welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here again welcome so y'all i already filmed this video literally when i got back from dubai i filmed this video i don't know what happened i, I really don't know what happened but i can't find a video i can't find it i think i may have deleted it by accident um I'm not gonna get into how I, but I think I know how I deleted it by accident. So I asked y'all on Instagram if y'all wanted me to refilm it and y'all said yes. So here we are. Just know that I'm doing this for y'all because I love y'all, okay? It's all love over here. So if you haven't already seen the title, which obviously you have, this is a what I bought in Dubai. Now disclaimer, unfortunately this isn't everything that I bought in Dubai because half of the stuff that I bought was souvenirs for other people so I've already given them those souvenirs so obviously I can't show y'all but I can tell y'all um but yeah so what y'all are gonna see is the stuff that I bought for myself which is still a lot of stuff so but just know like there was more <laughs> and they were just souvenirs for other people all right so we're gonna get into it um we're gonna start with the first thing that I bought Still in the original bag. Um, so this was the first day that I went to the souks, and this is this was I think day two when we went to the spice souks. And if you watch my Dubai vlog in part one, the guy was like talking about the different stuff, and he was like showing us what they had. Um, so this was purchases from that place. Flashback. Take this year's for this word. I'm gonna show this to you, but before I show you. Close your eyes and inhale it as calm as possible. Don't sniff it too hard, okay? I don't want you to be high all day. Close your eyes and inhale. And don't say the name. Let them find out. Keep your eyes closed, guys. Keep your eyes closed. As I told you. Until you lose all your money. <laughs> Ooh. I did a, I inhaled a little too strong. Yeah, I'm like, oh, why did you say Ooh. That is. Okay, now to explain you the thing you just experienced. That wasn't any kind of uh, menthol or how do you say camphor. It's actually called natural eucalyptus. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That makes but sense. this is not the eucalyptus you might be familiar with because this one is the one which comes from a mountain and it's a crystallized mm. one which doesn't expire. So we use this one much more than any other eucalyptus you might know. And this thing, how we use it, is we put it on top of the charcoal. And if you don't have a charcoal, you can also use it in hot water, sauna, and diffuser as well. And this thing cures you the best. And what it works yeah, is, it's very good for your nose sinuses. Yeah. Yeah. When yes. sometimes yeah. you have had a migraine, yeah. for congestion yeah. issues. And I know, if you same. put it in hot water and heal it through your mouth, it clears your lungs as well. Wow. End of flashback. This is the first thing that I bought. This is going to open up your sinuses. <laughs> Vicks Vapor Rub has nothing on this. Nothing. Y'all, all I did was open the jar a little bit just now and like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's, this is what they need to have when you out sniffing perfumes. Instead of having coffee beans, they need this because baby. Woo. So yeah. I'm, I'm low-key excited like I can't wait for the like I cannot wait for the fall and winter months like when I'm stuffy and stuff so I can use this see how good it's gonna open up my sinuses period on to the next I know this looks like crazy and like ew <sighs> y'all this smells so good I didn't even gotta open the bottle it smells so good but this is, put this on the Instance Burner, like a little small piece, you don't even need to use that much, and your whole house smells amazing, like, amazing. So in here I have, what did I get? I got Oud and Sandalwood, I think, mixed together. Did I get Oud and Sandalwood? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oud and sandalwood is what's in here. That's why the oud is um, the dark stuff. And then the sandalwood is like the little wood chips you can see. Um, 
so yeah i'm so excited y'all to try this like i haven't tried it yet because i have a nest diffuser um that i've been waiting for it to like you know die out so that i can finally try this so yeah next thing i got was an incense burner um i got a traditional one i didn't get an electric one partially because all the electric ones had the dubai outlet type on it so like why would i do that but this one's so cute it's brass so what you do is you put um a coal a piece of coal in here like the small like i guess you could say the small hookah coals if you will put that in there and then you put a small piece of a core on top and burn it last forever it smells so good i'm sorry <laughs> y'all that's i'm not gonna lie that was the thing that i was most excited for going to dubai was getting these two right here and perfume of course which we'll get to in a second second to last thing that i got was saffron i don't know if y'all know but saffron is really expensive especially the higher grade saffron this is or i was told this is a, the highest grade they offer which is why i didn't get that much one because i don't need that much and two because <laughs> it's expensive so let me put this back in the bag because um saff the quality of saffron goes down kind of like matcha if it's not stored in a cool dry place and dark the quality starts to go down so i keep it tucked away away from the light um but yeah and then the last thing that i got from this place is downstairs so and i'm not gonna go downstairs to get it so i'm gonna just insert a picture here it's called actually i don't know what it's called they didn't say what it was called but it's a tea it's a white tea um i want to say it's a chai tea um i think it's called chai karak yeah chai karak tea that's what it is and um the way they prepared it in the store for us because they gave us samples oh my god it was so good y'all was so good <laughs> mm. so they yeah they gave it to us in like little cups and they had like saffron sprinkled on top so that's really why i got the saffron to like have it with the tea because why not have the full experience so yeah um that's all that i got from the spice soup that day so um i guess i'm going to order of days of like what i bought otherwise i'm just it's a lot so i'm gonna just get confused so the next time i went to the souks i got scarves so i got three scarves one for me one for my mom and one for my line sister because her bridal shower was the day after i got back from dubai so i'm like i might as well just get her something here as a bridal shower gift so i can only show you the scarf that i got myself because again i'm not gonna go downstairs to get my mom she's asleep I would have to wake her up and ask her where it is. That's rude. We're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, this is mine. Of course, I had it to get a pink and green one because, like, duh. It's so cute. Um, it's cashmere. I'm not going to unravel it all the way, but it is pretty big. It's a pretty big scarf and it unfolds and it unfolds one more time. So it's, yeah. Definitely multi-uses. I could wear this as a top. I could probably wear this as a skirt. Maybe wear it as, you know, traditional hair wrap way they wear it in Dubai. Multiple ways I could wear this. But y'all, this is so cute. See, I got three of those. Um, not the same color, though. The one I got my line sister was like a purple. I think I had purple and gold. Like purple, gold, and white, maybe. And then the one I got my mom is blue and orange with gold. Something like that. They were all really pretty, though. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got and then what else did i get that day child my memory is terrible i got my grandma these really nice handmade slippers um they were leather they were blue and they had like different like they had like a nice little like arabian design on it, it was really pretty um i got her that like i'm just gonna go ahead and say like what all souvenirs i bought now yeah so let's get that out the way three colognes um one for my dad one for my little brother and one for my friend ty um and the colognes were all oud al wadi that's um the arabic name and um all the perfumes that i got are oils so like they're not you know spray out the bottle um i think because they're not allowed to make perfumes with alcohol in it so that's why they have the actual perfume oils which 
is better anyways because they last longer you only need a tiny bit so yeah and then i got my friend rachel two shot glasses and then i got my friend diane this cute like lamp and this camel thing that you could put stuff in and i also got my mom some dates and i got her this really cute pen um that has the burj khalifa on it and then i also got her some camel chocolate and I got her something else. I don't know. I didn't write it down. So who knows? But she got all the stuff, of course. <laughs> um, and then this is one souvenir that I still have because I haven't given it to the person yet. But I got my nephew a cute little camel from Dubai. It's so cute. Um, I can't wait to give it to him. He's He just turned one, by the way. Well, not just turned, but a couple months ago, he just turned one. So he actually turned one while I was in Dubai. I felt so bad because I missed his first birthday. But this is what I got him. So cute. So, yeah. I haven't seen him yet. So when I do see him, I'm going to give him this. But yeah, those are all the souvenirs that I got, everybody. I just had to get that out the way before I continued on with the video. In case y'all were curious, I don't know why you would be. But I guess if you go to Dubai, you, you know, think about what to get people. Now you have an idea. You just don't have pictures of what they look like. So sorry. Um... But yeah, moving on to the next thing. <laughs> so, um, for myself, I got from the desert a scarf. Um, another scarf, yes, I know. These are the scarves that they wear in desert, though. So, like in a desert safari. Um, it's just like the ones that you see in videos and pictures. Same as that scarf. They wrap it around their head and in their mouths to keep sand from, like, out of their mouths and off their face it didn't do the it, it didn't do the best job with that i still had sand in my mouth but whatever um yeah super cute so i have those two scarves <laughs> Ciao. okay um i'm sure y'all recognize this maybe you do maybe you don't from the thumbnail of i think part two of the dubai vlog yeah part two this is what i Mm. got at the I got an Abu Dhabi at the mosque I had <laughs> oh my god I'm laughing because like I looked crazy y'all I bought an um what is it called why can't I think of the names of anything today like dang what the abaya yeah so we go to the mosque you have to have an abaya on well you don't have to have an abaya on but and I'll put a picture of what an abaya is so you see what I'm talking about. But your like everything has to be covered, your ankles, everything gotta be covered. So obviously I bought an abaya because that's usually what people wear to mosque. Women, I'm talking about women by the way. Um the abayas that they had in there were like really expensive. And I knew they would be because they are, you know, I've watched videos before I went and they would say, like, you know, get in a buy it at the souks because if you try to buy it at the mosque, it's gonna be pricier, which it was, they did not lie about that. Um but as I told y'all, like we were rushed um, the first day we went to the souks, so I wasn't able to get an abaya because we didn't go back to the souks until after Abu Dhabi, unfortunately. So the abaya that I bought was cheap. I bought the cheapest one in there. <laughs> it was like $15. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Me and my friend Alyssa, we both got one. We looked so crazy. I, I'm not going to insert pictures because <laughs> it looks so bad, y'all. Just... We look like Starburst. We look like an orange or strawberry Starburst. Um, but we did get these gold pieces to make up for it a little bit. It, it didn't really do much. But like, um, she got one that went like over her head. And this one I got that went around my face. Ooh. Like so. Um, it's kind of sticking out because it is beanie. But yeah. Um... I did not keep that about you. It was a piece of it was a piece of it was a piece of junk. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it was it was just some fabric sewn together. That's literally what it was. It's sheet of fabric, cheap fabric, see-through fabric sewn together. That's I didn't keep that because why would I? Um but I kept this. So yeah, that's a little backstory to that. And then I got this super cute lamp. This is so cute. 
I I almost want to say it's an incense burner as well, but I'm not 100% sure. But you can definitely put something in there and then the smoke will come out, obviously. Um, the only reason I'm not 100% sure is because I don't know if this is brass or not. If it is, then I can use it as an incense burner, but if it's not, I don't know what will happen. And I can't go to Dubai and get another one, so I'm not going to find out because I already have an incense burner. Why would I? But yeah, that's what this is. Super cute. Um, I keep it by my jewelry box that's like decorated similarly to this, so it just, they go perfectly together. Okay, so moving on to the category y'all been waiting for, but most of y'all probably came here for, and that is perfumes. Okay, so when we finally did go back to the souks, you know I had to get my perfumes, baby. Now, all of the perfumes that I got, all of, well, let me rephrase that, all of the air perfumes that I got are perfume oils with the exception of one. So I'll show you all the perfumes that I bought in the souks first, then I'll show you all the perfumes that I bought on the way back from Dubai at the airport um, for duty-free shopping. So this is the first perfume I actually wore this today, ironically. It's called Bin Turan. It is so pretty. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to have no fragrance description for these because how would I? They don't, you know, they're, none of them are pre-made except for this one. But it came in a box. The whole box is in the Arabic. So, yeah. Um, mm, it kind of puts me in a family of Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, the original. It reminds me of that. But slightly sweeter slightly fresher if that makes sense i hope that makes sense but it smells really good the bottle is so cute so freaking cute um i was confused though because like they definitely said they're not allowed to like put alcohol in their perfumes so and this obviously has alcohol in it because how is gonna spray i understand that but whatever i don't know um next i got this so freaking pretty and it's a perfume oil so one thing to know about dubai like when you buy perfumes from souks or, or even at the mall um usually they'll have all the perfume oils in these like big giant bottles i forgot what the actual word is and you pick like a cute bottle whatever size you want whatever design you want and they'll put the oil inside of the bottle for you so like all of these bottles um like i said these aren't pre-made they're made for you when you go so yeah just something to keep in mind um but yeah this one is a white musk it's called musk tahara so yeah it smells really good it's like a clean sweet smell mmm Oh my gosh bro the first time that i wore this i got like 10 compliments like okay i'm lying i probably got like three or four but that's a lot for me usually i don't get any or i'll get like two a day because i wear perfume every day but i digress this smells really good and yeah it's like a clean very clean smell but like a little sweet to it i'm not really good at describing perfumes i'm not gonna lie a little floral lee because i'm pretty sure musk is a flower is it not i don't know but it smells really good the next thing i got another perfume oil Now this one, I forgot what it's called. Of course, my camera died while I was talking. So if it's a different angle, sorry. Um, but back to what I was saying. I was showing y'all this next perfume oil. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what this is. The guy who sold it to me um, gave me this as a bonus one or like a free one surprise one or whatever he said he said it was a surprise so this is a surprise one um i do have his page on instagram so i could just ask him what it was if he happened to remember but yeah i don't know what it is but it smells good um i feel like it's definitely one of the oud ones he had he definitely had a he had multiple oud ones but i don't know which one it is so yeah 
And then lastly, for the perfume oils that I got from the Souks, this beauty right here, so freaking pretty, y'all. So pretty. This is another oud. This is the one that, mm, this is the one that like, when you go to Dubai, a lot of women like have this distinct scent. This is what they're wearing. I think it's called Oud Fahar. Let me, let me make sure. Oud Al Far. Oud Al Far. That's what it's called. So yeah, this is Oud Al Far. It smells really good. Um, it's very strong as oud is a very strong scent so like if you are someone who's new to perfumes and to fragrances i wouldn't reach for something that has oud in it because or unless you like really strong bold perfumes because that's what this is all of them all of the dubai perfumes are very strong that's why i was really excited um to get these so yeah those are all the perfumes that i bought from the souks now we can move on to the ones that i bought and duty free shopping at the dubai airport y'all <laughs> y'all first of all look at this damn sticker coming off but this right here is called miriam y'all i'm obsessed and let me tell you this was only two dollars two us dollars it's a it's still a perfume oil it's just in a little cheap roll-on bottle but it's just as good as the other perfume oils over there oh my gosh it smells so good me and my friend jordan were talking about this we were like we should have got two because they were so cheap they're literally two dollars y'all you can't even beat that two dollars for a perfume not a cheap little rinky dink that's not gonna lie no this lasts all day i literally wore it last week in the hot summer heat sweating and everything and it lasted the whole day like be for real be for real same here next thing i got this one's called huda this is also an oil in a cheap bottle i really hate that this bottle is cheap because it's so pretty but the sticker coming off of this too and y'all <laughs> as you can see there's no oil stick the oil stick fell in the freaking bottle, so now I have to, what? Now I have to, um, this just came out too, this is new. And now I have to pour it in my hand when I'm gonna wear it, like I can't use the oil stick to like dab it on me. But it smells so good. It smells so good, I'm not even mad at it. Um, this is another one that lasts all day. They all do, they're freaking perfume oils. So like, I'm not even mad at it. I don't remember how much this was. I'm gonna say this was like 10, 10 to 15 dollars, somewhere in a range for this big bottle. Like, you can't beat that. You can't, you can't beat that. Yes, the bottles are cheap, but what's inside is what counts, okay? Just keep that in mind. The inside is what counts. So yeah, this is another one we got at the airport. Um, and then lastly, y'all, <laughs> this is not an Arab perfume at all. But the store we were at was having a sale. You got two perfumes for $30. So hello, I paid $15 for this True Religion perfume. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Did I lie? Was it two for 30? That don't sound right. No. It was two for ninety-nine dollars. I think yeah. Two for ninety nine ninety five. So I paid like thirty-five dollars for this, which is still really good. It's a true religion perfume. Um I don't think it had a name. I think it was literally just called true religion fragrance. But it smells really good. The first of all, let's get into the bottle. This bottle is so cute. It's this is so cute. Um but it smells good. It's a very light, fresh scent. It kind of reminds me of Versace Yellow Diamond and Versace Dylan Turquoise. It kind of puts me in that family. Um, and I, I love both of those, even though they don't last so long. So that's why I got this one here. Um, I haven't worn it like a full day's wear to see how long it lasts, but I'm not expecting it to last that long. I feel like because it's in the family of the Versace Dylan Turquoise and the Versace Yellow Diamond, it's, even though it's an eau de perfume and not an eau de toilette like those are, I feel like it's not going to last. But that's just me. I could be wrong. I'm going to try it one day. But it's definitely a summer scent. Summer, spring, 
fresh airy clean water very nice scent so yeah and then also at that duty free place i bought this mug this mug is so cute i couldn't help it look how cute this mug is it just says dubai in arabic and then dubai in english y'all how much is this this was 3580 so that's like 15 us dollars somewhere around there um or 12 but yeah no this is so cute that's everything that i bought in dubai for myself slash what souvenirs i got um even though i didn't have pictures of the souvenirs you can kind of you you know what certain things are like you know so hopefully you get some ideas for when you go out of the country and stuff that you want to get your loved ones or your friends and even some stuff that i bought for myself would be good souvenirs as well especially the perfume oils because the perfumes are not that expensive at all when you buy it from the suits don't go to the mall it's gonna they're it's gonna cost more at the mall but yeah um thank you for watching this video this is the end and i have one more dubai content video that i'm gonna make and that'll basically be like tips and tricks like what i wish i knew before going what i learned from going to like a little story time of what happened at the airport on the way back because that was really really ghetto so that'll be one video that'll be the last dubai content video that i have for you all and then that'll be it for dubai content because like i know y'all tired of it i'm well i'm not tired of it i want to go back but like i know y'all tired of it after this maybe maybe not hopefully not hopefully not um but yeah so it's thursday what's today's date it's thursday july 7th Oh no, that's a Friday. Technically, it's Friday, July 7th. And if y'all don't know, I have new videos posted every single Friday. So uh, I'm going to edit this tomorrow slash today and post it. Period. That's the goal. So I'll see y'all in um, less than 24 hours. Now I'm about to go to sleep because it's, it's 1 a.m. Bye.